Good morning. I have left Bangkok now, which is sad because I really miss KD. And I've got myself a bolt to my hotel. The weather, keep my fingers crossed, looks really nice. So I'll be very happy if it stays like this. It's saying on the weather before it's gonna rain, but it said that in PP and it just didn't. So I'm happy with this. I can make content with this and stuff. So hopefully it stays this nice and I'll keep everyone updated. Really nice resort this. Seems nice and peaceful. I got to the coffee club to get a coffee and I sat at my wobble, didn't realise I was going to wet myself. Um, now having an ice white smart card and an egg and then the weather looks quite nice. I think I'm going to shoot some content because if the weather is bad like throughout the day it don't matter then. It don't matter. So I'm going to get that over and done with and then I want to book to go into the elephants tomorrow. I just have the loveliest foot massage ever. Oh, the hair in my mom. It was so nice. And I've just made it in time to watch the sunset. It looks so pretty. Got my journal and I've got my book. Just gonna have a little read through and just so cool this nature up really. Well, <laughs> I feel so happy. <laughs> Only three pounds. Uh, I had a foot massage, but then I also had like a bit of a back rub as well. And she put some like nice oil on it, which smells really nice. It's meant to be like good for you. She had a bit tight. But I'm gonna go and get rent a scooter now and try and get a phone holder, hopefully. This is the bike place that I've come to. It's quite local to my resort, which is just handy because when I give it back, I don't have to have a long walk back. I've got it down to 500 with a phone holder. And that's for two days. I get to bring it back on the third day in the morning. So it's basically like kind of three days. And um, yeah, just gonna use that to get around. I'm gonna go to Phuket Town now. But I'm more confident with a phone holder, so they didn't have one last time, and I just felt like crashing everywhere. The diesel, that's one tank petrol, and it's 40 baht, so it's basically a pound. Get your full tank. <laughs> How cute is this little cafe? Got myself a. It's a caramel macchiato, which I normally like hot, but I got it cold. So I'm gonna give it a go. It's really, really pretty in here. Like little teepee tents. And then it's just like quite spiritual vibes, and I like it. Um, it's a bit. Quite scary driving because it's so windy. So to get yourself balanced, you have to like, like, move your body like that. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna show you my food and stuff, and then I'm gonna have a little walk around and see what I can see. Really, really is. Uh, I can just see a blank screen. This is my lovely meal. Looks lush. It's so cute. <laughs> I was just walking past and then I saw this like lady holding a cat and I thought, what's she doing in the restaurant with a cat? So it's a cat cafe and it's like full of these gorgeous cats. Like, here we go. Hey! Look at those eyes. This one, this one's, they're all very sleepy, which makes me think they're, they're all under the influence of something. They're literally everywhere. 
Okay, big one there. I need something to eat. Oh, I didn't even see this one up here. He looks happy. <laughs> like. So cute. I don't even really like guts, but these are so cute. You are very pretty. Blending in with the sofa. This cat literally was just silly. Laying on my lap. So bored. Okay. Wouldn't come near me earlier. Hey. So I'm gonna get my camera out. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, this one has beef with this one. They're doing well. See, this one just doesn't like him. Oh, Sable Tooth Tiger over there is back. got the whole gang with me now. So to get in you had to pay 189 bar, but you get a free drink with that as well. And I think it, that's like, I don't even know, less than a five bar, which is, I think is really cool. But that dog cafe was so cheap as well. <laughs> I'm spending my free time watching cats. <laughs> Am I going crazy? A little hat on. <laughs> so cute. Right, I have to walk up this hill, and it's terrifying. Uh, not the hill I came up before this hill was full of monkeys, and a fucking huge monkey came over, jumped on my motorbike, and stole my water, and like opened the lid and drank out of it. I just can't believe I just witnessed that. But I'm going to walk up the hill and maybe see more. Good thing about this place, you don't need to pay anything. Oh, how the hell did they ride up? Look at all the dogs everywhere. Oh! Hello! Ah! Hi! <laughs> right, that's a bit scary. Just telling you everything that can go wrong if you get bitten by a monkey. Are oh, you seen that? That is fucking tapeworm. That is gross. Ugh. Hepatitis, gastrus, nah, rabies. Oh my god, that that is so disturbing. Look at that fucking baby. I will not be getting attacked. That's all I got to say about that. Right, this is the only video I'm going to get of the monkeys because they literally petrified me. Fuck them, never again. I'm going out. I'm going up tonight, going to Patong Bay. I'm gonna get a scooter over to like around that area and go and get some food from the street maybe because that was quite nice food last time. Then I will scooter up to Patong, to Bangla Road where, oh, actually, I wanna go and watch a boxing match but I don't know if there's any on. So I'm gonna look for that first and then if there is, then I'll go to that. Anyway, we'll go, we're gonna figure it out. We'll do it together because I'm not on my own. I've got my YouTube with me. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get it to go tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be out with some friends tonight from Milton Keynes, well, England. I don't actually think she's in Milton Keynes. But yeah, see how that goes. But I'm just in the food court. I am eating half the food, but um, I just wanted maybe some pancakes.
A week later, like that doesn't happen. Anyway, we had the best time, and I am getting drunk. Today I have come to see the elephants. This is meant to be like the Phuket sanctuary, like the best one apparently. And I'm doing the full day. That's feed and shower, half day visit. Don't really know. Anyway, I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna an elephant. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the size of it! It's massive, yeah? So big! Wow, wow! This day has killed me off so much. I literally feel so tired, like so tired and drained. I just feel like this trip's just been so much. And like, because it hasn't been sunny, like it's not like I can just sunbathe as well. So it's been like really cloudy. And yeah, but I will. That's why I just thought I'd treat myself to my favorite meal ever. But like, this is literally my favorite meal Hard Rock Cafe, up your ribs. Popcorn car. Popcorn car in time. Why, Sue? Oh my god. I've come to Freedom Beach and why do I look so pale? Gosh. That is not good. Oh, I've come to Freedom Beach and look. There's pigs everywhere. What the fuck? Let's see if I can get a better record of this one. I don't even know what they're eating. It's so random. Let me pre warn you. If you're coming to Freedom Beach and you're going the cheaper way, it is dangerous and it is not safe. I just don't know how I manage that, but it's done that. I'm having a little trek and I can't wait to see a really nice beach again. I'm going to chill here for a bit, then I'm going to go and see the Big Buddha later on. Proper like jungle vibes. I wish I did bring my tripod now because I want to get a photo in the swimsuit I got. Oh well. I'm here! I made it to Freedom Beach. And do you know what? I'm glad I've waited because it's actually sunny today. And if I went um, yesterday, it wasn't even that sunny, so it would have just been shit. But it's gorgeous. Like, I really wish the girls came, but then again, it wasn't their fault. It was more the weathers. Oh my god, honestly, the Instagram photos. Oh, I wish I brought my tripod. I don't know if you can see, but there is crabs, I mean, everywhere. Literally, oh, I keep seeing them as I walk. Luckily they've run away. And look at that, I think that's a jellyfish. Honestly, fuck that. So I need to have a yes. wrapper on. Uh, okay, you, uh, you put it in the bag, inside. Yeah. Put oh, put my bag inside, yeah. okay. Right, here we yeah. go. And you put it in the bag. Like this, and you turn back. You fly. Don't worry, you go inside. Yes, it's okay. But... Woo! 
<laughs> Superman. Superman. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this one. Big Buddha. Oh wow, look at the view. Gorgeous. Hey everyone. So, as you probably know, I am the worst at editing YouTube videos, but I want to be a YouTuber. Makes zero sense. Anyway, I'm just finishing my Thailand video and I've been to Ibiza and Bali since then which is like awful like what is wrong with me I just feel like when I have time to finish YouTube videos I just think I should be doing like my um uni work and not just that it's so long to edit YouTube videos like to actually download them onto my iPad it just takes ages and then I have to like edit it then upload it. it just takes so long anyway I'm doing it now and who cares so a lot of you might have known that I actually fell off the scooter on my last day and um, I wasn't in a good place because I was all by myself. I like cut my shoulder. Luckily this is scarring, it's gone so much. Like, I feel like bio oil and the sun help so much. Got one on my hand, that's probably the worst one. Some on my elbow and then have like a big one on my leg here. Um, it was quite bad, like not that bad. Like. I didn't break anything, but I was so like grazed and like I so bruised. I had like whiplash, and I had to go straight to the airport. Um, I did want to record it, but I was so upset and like I just felt horrible. Like all oh, being all by myself, things were just going wrong. It cost me like three hundred pounds for the scooter when I took it back. The man was really nice when I went back. Like he went to the chemist, got loads of stuff for me. He did say it was £500 at first and I got it down to 300 and he had my passport so I couldn't just leave like if it wasn't for the passport I would have just like left it do you know what I mean like left it local or something but he had my passport and I had to go to the airport so I had to just leave which was so annoying because I spent all that money when I didn't need to on the last day and I was actually going on my way to buy gifts and I couldn't afford it and I couldn't walk after basically um when i got to my hotel like i was so late for checkout already and the receptionist was so lovely like helping me and then when i went to the airport i thought you know what i'll go to boots i will treat myself i will buy some painkillers and stuff guess what my card was in my skirt that when i fell off so i literally didn't even have it i was i just like crying and like these Australian guys helped me. They gave me some like paracetamol and ibuprofen. So that was nice of them. Um, I took sleeping tablets, which they told me not to because yeah, I hit my head. But I need. I there was no way I could have stayed up that whole flight. Like it was a 17-hour flight. When I stopped in Dubai, it was the worst part. Like I was so tired and so agitated. Like I didn't want to talk to anyone. I think I just slept on the floor um, in McDonald's, and like someone actually came up to me and was like, "You need to move," and I was like. <laughs> please leave me alone <laughs> anyway i got to the uk got to see arthur he picked me up and i literally just cried like i was in so much agony and i was just so happy to see him because being all by yourself yeah it's not like i kind of liked it but when you've actually hurt yourself and like you're in pain or you're sad like it is the worst thing ever um and then i had work that weekend i got back on a friday and i had work saturday sunday and I had all these like cuts on me and I was in agony, but I still done it. I done kids parties with like that pain. I had bandages all over me. Got to Monday and I was thinking like my neck is still in pain, like my spine hurts, like what's going on? So I thought, you know what, I booked going to see my GP just in case because I thought my elbow was broke as well because I couldn't actually lean on it without being so painful. I went to my GP and they was like, you can't leave, like, we need call an ambulance for you. And I was like, what? I was like, no, I just drove here. I was like, I can get to A&E myself, thanks. I was like, I don't need that. Like, I think this is very, like, exaggerated, what you're going through right now. And they were just like, no, like, we need to take it in propor proportion. Not proportion. 
caution caution and um it was so funny because arthur's next door neighbor was the lady at the ambulance i was like what the hell like i literally saw yesterday what's going on i was like i don't know what's going on i'm confused you're confused we're all confused so i went to the ambulance they'd done like a scan and an x-ray and i was fine like i said to them i'm just bruised and all i went to the gp for was to just check if my elbow was broken and to give me bandages to help with like repairing my skin because my skin was fat um i don't know if i should have swollen whoops sorry um yeah so after that i just basically stayed at home for like a week i had to like not work or do anything and for a week that's really long for me not to do anything but i got better really quick after that and um i'm just happy that's over and done with um i'm sad i wasn't able to show you like the last bit of thailand but that was literally why it was just the worst thing ever for me and i was so depressed and so stressed about it all because i couldn't do anything normally and it you know like it was just i just hate it and i'm just so glad it's over and done with and just be careful if you've got no scooters in Thailand and stuff. Like, you can just go on it without a driving license, which is so wrong. And you don't even, like, need to wear a helmet. But, like, if I didn't wear a helmet, I wouldn't have woke up. So, make sure you wear your helmets because I literally just feel sick to think people go on them without helmets. Like, it wasn't even my fault. I was driving and someone swerved into my lane. And because I was going fast, as I've gone to move like it's just skidded and i've just skidded like a cheese grater down the side of me but again i hit my head and if i wasn't wearing a helmet i would not be here today so make sure you wear your helmets um this is the end of my thailand part two i hope you all enjoyed and yeah stay safe stay happy peace out